It's an idea, a concept, a kick-ass product. A venture with a great potential. A group of people willing to deliver a product under conditions of extreme uncertainty. It's a serious business opportunity. Scalable, viable, viable concept waiting to turn into a mobile or a web product. How do you go about building a startup? That's got a long answer. Create a great UI and an amazing UX to start with. Start with the project plan, prepare the project modules, and yeah, that's how you begin your agile development process. Well, we go by five typical steps. First, design a rapid prototyping plan. Second, wireframe. Third, design the UI. Fourth, develop the backend. Fifth, bring in the quality guides. It's easier said than done, bro. Ask questions, tons of it. Take up the research part, start a prototype, create intuitive designs, offer great usability, exploit the technology. Build the functionality, edit, modify, and edit again. Put your engineering skills to use. What's up with the UI and UX? Are you kidding me? It's the life of a project. Do you know the chicken and egg concept? UI and UX are just like the chicken and egg. UI, UX, both are not the same. UI is the part that pleases the eye. UX is the part which makes the user comfortable using the site. You merge these two concepts and you create a wonder. What's your favorite word and why? Social portal. There's something called that little red alert button that I absolutely adore. Social networks because you have to, you absolutely have to keep them simple, sober, clean and calm. Social networks because there is something about people getting socially involved that we just love. And what's with the addictive nature of it all? Sports, fantasy leagues. Sports, definitely sports. What's better than talking to a sports star to design their website? Sports. What else has a man got to love? Nothing beats researching on sports play stuff all day long. Then of course, wouldn't it be fun to meet Roger Federer and discuss his project? It's healthy writing because it's serious, it's grueling, it's engaging and it's very intriguing. Now who would not like to help a doctor-patient relationship? Why startups? Because we love startups. They've got such awesome ideas. You learn a lot. You win some, you lose some, you keep moving forward. And finally, you get to be a part of a success story. Because it's a great journey, conceptualizing and materializing an idea from a concept to a great end product. And you have done it. You have created it. You have taken an idea from a concept to a product. It's amazing. What's life at being for it? Life at being for it? It is fun. I came here knowing how to code. Today, I am managing project. I think to myself, man, that was great. It's a normal culture here. It's like a second home. You eat, you play pranks on each other, and you work your brains out. And just sometimes you find frogs in people's bags. What can I say? Fix the coffee machine. And who put that frog in my bag? <laughs>